Running a retail business is a lot of hard work and presents a lot of challenges. One of those challenges is keeping your marketing approach from going stale. Here are 12 ideas you can start today to help grow your retail business and keep your marketing fresh. This video is brought to you by Rain Retail Software. If you're a retail business looking to grow, Rain has easy to use sales and marketing tools that can help. Visit rainpos.com to learn more. Let's get started. Number one, enable your website for e-commerce. With the right software, you can add e-commerce to your website. This integrates all your in-store inventory so that a sale on your website is immediately reflected in your physical store data and vice versa. E-commerce expands your reach to an international audience, but it can also help your in-store sales by allowing your customers to look at your inventory before they even set foot in the store. It also enables you to offer local features such as in-store pickup and curbside delivery. Consider also listing your products on other e-commerce sites such as Reverb, Etsy, Amazon, and eBay. Number two, work on local search engine optimization. Start your local SEO efforts by creating or updating a Google business listing for your store. This will include your business name, location, contact information, store hours, pictures, descriptions, and reviews. This will help your store appear in search results for local stores. For example, if someone were to search music stores, the first batch of results would be music stores near that person. By keeping your listing current and full of relevant information, you have a better chance of attracting local customers through search engine results. Another way you can use Google to expand your reach and grow retail sales is to create a merchant account and list your products on Google Shopping. A common SEO tactic is to create landing pages on your website that emphasize local keywords. For example, if you're an outdoor retail store in Los Angeles, create a page on your site optimized around the phrase Los Angeles Outdoor Retail Store. When potential customers type that term in Google, you'll be more likely to appear at the top of the search results. If you have multiple locations, create a landing page for each city where you have a physical store. Number three, experiment with geo-targeted online ads. This is an important part of your marketing mix and if done correctly, it can be an effective tool for growing your business. Platforms like Google, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and others allow you to target your ads with very specific demographic and geographic criteria. Limit your ad exposure to just your city or region. Consider your marketing goals when putting your online ads together. If you're a restaurant, you could run a special offer locally from 10 a.m. to noon in an effort to increase lunchtime traffic. You could also run ads for gathering emails and phone numbers so that you can continue to send messages to potential customers. You can also set up your ads for retargeting. This means if an individual visits your website or social media, they will be shown ads promoting your business. These ads usually tend to perform better because the individual already expressed some level of interest in you. Experiment with different online ads by trying a number of small campaigns and investing more money in the ones that perform the best. Number four, establish a positive reputation with online reviews. Consumers are increasingly turning to websites like Google and Yelp to read reviews and learn about businesses like yours. Politely respond to reviews, both positive and negative. Using software, you can grow your reputation by prompting happy customers to leave a review. If one of your customers had a negative experience, rather than prompting them to leave a review, you can personally reach out to them and make things right. Doing so can help mend your reputation, keeping your customers in your good graces and returning to your store. Number five, text customers at key moments. Sending a text message is an easy way to send promotions and communicate with your customer base. With the right software, you can create campaigns like automatically texting a 10% off coupon to customers that haven't been in your store for three months. You can also trigger text messages to be sent around a customer's life events like a birthday, anniversary, or graduation. The restaurant Wingnuts sends weekly food specials every Friday afternoon, which is a time when most people are about to get off work and ready to go out to eat for the weekend. Pioneer Books used text messaging to promote a book reading challenge for the new year. Customers could earn a $50 gift certificate by completing 40 books from a list. 
the timing is significant because many of their customers make New Year's resolutions to read more. Number six, build a strong social media marketing presence. Post regularly to social media accounts that make sense for your business. A financial institution might feel out of place posting to TikTok, but would fit perfectly on LinkedIn. Keep your content on brand and relevant to your customers. Pictures and videos tend to draw more engagement, and you can use your social channels to highlight products and services, offer tips, spotlight employees, make announcements, and promote events. Incentivize your customers to follow your social accounts. A simple way to do this is a small sign next to your cash register offering a 10% discount if a new customer gets out their phone and shows the cashier that they're following your store. Crumble, a cookie shop, offers customer loyalty points, which they call crumbs, for each social media account that you follow. Customers can cash in these crumbs for free cookies. Another way to use social media is to start a Facebook group to engage your customer base. The goal with groups is less about directly selling and more about building a community. For instance, a craft store might create a group where customers can share their projects and ask questions to each other. This can help increase customer engagement and position your store as a helpful community hub. Number seven, publish compelling product-centered videos. This is a great way to showcase the products you're selling in your store. The Acoustic Shop, a music store in Missouri, posts reviews of new instruments whenever they receive them. Crumble uses Instagram and TikTok to publish mouthwatering videos of its limited edition cookies of the week. Another approach is to create instructional how-to videos that tie back to your products or services. For instance, a quilt shop might post a video teaching a new sewing technique with supplies that they have in stock. An outdoor retailer might share hiking tips that include purchasing the right shoes and socks from their store. Consider where your customers are spending their time online when choosing which social media platforms to use. This will guide you on things like what you'll talk about, the style of the production, and the length. If you run a clothing boutique, posting fashion videos to TikTok makes a lot of sense. But if you run a hardware store and you created a video about how to fix your sink, YouTube might be a better fit. Number eight, promote in-store events to bring people in the door. These could include store openings, product launch parties, holiday parties, meetup groups, guest lectures, or an open mic with music and poetry. Your events could include raffles or giveaways that feature your store's products. Hider Hangout hosts an event called Quilt Till You Wilt. Customers bring in their projects and socialize with each other while they quilt and sew. In-store events could also include paid classes or lessons, which brings in extra revenue to supplement your sales on physical goods. Consider the capacity of your store and whether it makes sense to host paid events. Use software with event scheduling features to streamline the process. Number nine, send an email newsletter to your customers. This will keep your customers connected to your store. Your newsletter could include special offers, upcoming events, customer highlights, relevant tips, and links to helpful articles. Use retail software to manage your customer list and send mass emails. Consider different ways to segment your audience and deliver different messages to each group. For instance, you could send one email to your group of recent shoppers and a different email to shoppers who haven't been in your store for a while. You can also segment your customer list by demographics. A clothing store might divide their list into women and men and send two different emails emphasizing clothing lines for each audience. Number 10, create enticing window displays. This can help draw new customers off the street and get them to enter your store. Feature your store's products as much as possible. Use bold colors that stay on brand with your store's style and keep your look fresh by updating your display once a month. Number 11, become a vendor at community events. This is another great way to add to your sales and promote your physical location. Events could include farmer's markets, festivals, fairs, and trade shows. Make sure your booth looks professional and is on brand with your physical store. If you use a cloud-based point of sale system, you'll be able to make sales any place where you can get internet access or a cell phone signal. Number 12, partner with neighboring businesses and organizations. 
One simple idea is to identify neighboring businesses with a similar audience and ask if you can place some flyers in their store in exchange for placing their flyers in your store. Consider creating a multi-store community event. One group of 12 quilt shops in a community banded together to create a two-week-long shop hop event. Each participating store offered a free gift along with raffles for prizes. Another idea to consider is partnering with a nonprofit organization and donating a portion of your sales for a period of time. Not only will this help improve your store's image and reputation, but it's also a generous thing to do. Get involved with your local chamber of commerce and give your input on promoting your community's local stores. Some cities have been known to offer grants to help spruce up your exterior storefront and signage. The U.S. Small Business Administration offers a free program through a website called SCORE.org, where you can connect with volunteer mentors in your area for advice and support. We hope you found this helpful. Following these retail marketing ideas will help set your business apart from competitors and lead you on a path to success. Thanks for watching.